Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, you join me at Agritechnica here in Germany. So, in today's video, we're going to go and have a look around the John Deere stand. So, we're going to look at all of the new products in John Deere the new 8 series, the 7 series, the 6 series, and also we'll just have a look at the 6120M, which is the new loader tractor. As you guys know, I stayed at Hamburg on Friday night and then I came over to Hanover. Uh, yesterday so I've arrived here in Hanover and then this morning it's Sunday morning today and I'm doing some filming with John Deere and also as well on the channel you guys will be able to see the stand and we'll also have an explore around and just see what's on offer so come with me and we'll go and have a look inside and see what's going on six spec tractor it's just sim very similar in a way to the 6930 which we've just sold on the farm it is a really good simple tractor for a farmer who's looking for something which is simple and reliable so we'll get over there. Okay, so you now join me next to the all new John Deere 6120M. So this is the new Baby 6 series uh, from John Deere and it's fitted this model with a 120 horsepower engine which boosts up to 140 horsepower. It's 4.5 litres, four cylinders and as you can see it's got a front loader on it. The front loader is a 603R so you've got a really good lift capacity. As you can see on the front you've got the, the silage bale on the front there and then just as we move throughout the machine uh, you'll see just in the middle the bonnet is sloping so you get really good visibility when you're inside the cab. Um, it's fitted as well with Trelleborg TM800 tyres, so quite a wide tyre. Um, you can see they're the 540s as well, so good quality, hard wearing. Um, and then you've got the DPF system on the side there, so you've got your ad blue as well. And then as we move to the back of the machine, you can see we've got a rear weight because being a load tractor, you need a good bit of weight on the back of the machine to compensate for the extra weight you're carrying on the front. Um, so let's just move around now as well. So let's just move around and we'll just have a look at the cab and see if we can get into the cab. Okay guys, so let's just have a look in the cab in the 6120M. So one thing I can tell you initially straight away is the visibility is fantastic. You can see right the way down the bonnet, you can almost actually see to the headstock uh, because of that sloping bonnet. So you've got really great visibility to the front and as well to the roof as well if you just have a look at the panoramic roof on the top. And then to control everything, just on this right hand side, I've got this small little command arm here, a compact command arm for controlling the front loader. So I can control the loader on this joystick. I've got the direct drive transmission which I can just simply flick into auto and then you can select your different ranges on these buttons from A to D and then you can also switch, switch back to manual and then like I say controlling the loader on the joystick very nicely uh, controlled ergonomically there you've got your revs settings and your linkage controls and then just your electric spools and everything's really nicely laid out to be fair it's relatively simple in here which is great for the smaller livestock farmer who's looking for a machine which is quite universal and it's going to be you know uh, probably used uh, in some quite muddy conditions so you don't need too much uh, technology in here um, however you have actually got on the corner there an LED screen so you can actually see some key functions of the 120M for example your engine speed and how fast you're going down the road etc so you have got a little monitor there to just uh, let you know what is going on uh, and you do get some readings from that little screen so it's a very nice cab to sit in it's a very nice place to be and to be fair I'm really impressed with it so far the 6120M so around the corner I've just spotted a 6155R so we'll just go and have a look at that and see what that's like 
So just on my right hand side here is the John Deere 1650R. It's got the new data connect system fitted to it, which is quite exclusive to Agrotechnica. Yeah, what a machine. Just next door to it here, I'm quite excited about this, is the new John Deere 6155R. So this is the ultimate edition, which means that it's got the Command Pro. And on the rear, you've got the rear weight on there because it's actually fitted this model with a front loader. So if you just come over here, what I mean, so here it is, it's a 155R. And we'll just have a look in the cab quickly just to see what it's like. Um, so it's This is really nice, what a premium environment. Quite a much bigger cab than the 6930, and it's also fitted as well, like I say, with the Command Pro joystick for, for going forwards and backwards, for monitoring your field controls here, so your HMS, for example, and then just on the right-hand side, this is actually what you control the front loader with. Now, I must say the visibility is great out of the front. You've got 155 horsepower, so it's quite a powerful tractor which is going to be able to do a lot of jobs on the farm, but you've still got the front loader there so that you can uh, use it for loading jobs. So uh, what I'm actually hoping of doing is actually buying a tractor like this to replace the JCB and the John Deere 6930 on the farm. So it's a really, really uh, nicely laid out cab. And to be fair, I'm totally blown away by it, just the overall quality and the visibility to the loader. Being a bigger tractor, I thought that the visibility wouldn't be that good. Um, but I'm actually amazed at the quality and, and just the overall visibility of the product. Um, like I say, so the, the steering wheel is this time round uh, stitched in leather, being the ultimate edition. And then you've got your forward and, and uh, forward and backwards on this little shuttle here. And then you can just simply drop the steering wheel back there. I've got so much room in this cab uh, compared to the old model. It's just amazing. And on the right hand side, I've got my command uh, command arm so I can see, use all of my controls down here. Uh, the lights, the Bluetooth radio, for example. And I've also as well got the computer. This model's actually auto track ready, so I can use GPS on this tractor. And then just as we're moving to the side, something which is quite nice from the 60, 6030 series is we've actually got a little pop window. So I can let in a bit of air there, and I can also as well have the door, uh, which the door is actually a, a half door, so it's actually really easy to open and close. Um, something else as well I've noticed, we've actually got a fridge down there, so uh, in the summer months, that's gonna be great for putting some Coca-Cola in there and just keeping those drinks nice and cool. Um, just on the left-hand side as well is our passenger seat, so I can take some passengers with me on the farm, and I must say, it is a little bit bigger than the passenger seat I had on the 6930. And I can tell you as well, I think it would be a little bit more comfortable, especially when a passenger is going on a longer journey with you. So here we go guys, we'll just have a look around the machine and we'll just see what it's like. So this would be the 6930's replacement tractor for the farm. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this John Deere 6155R fitted with a 663R loader. And let me know what you think of it in the comments because I'd love to hear from you guys what you think of this machine. Is the ultimate edition with the command pro and the led lighting as well and then if we just have a look on the bonnet you can see the 6655 r logo on the bonnet and then we've got the 663 r loader which is fitted with this model and on the front we've got a bucket with a grab fitted which is approximately i believe 1.8 1.9 meters wide so it's a good width it's a good size of bucket to have on the loader tractor and being a 155 it's got the weight it's got the power behind it to lift a heavy load on its front loader so just moving as well to the front, something else which is quite nice, particularly about this specification, is that you've got the front linkage with the PTO, and also as well you've got your hydraulics fitted in there also. So it would be really good to put the Machio Buffalo mower on at home uh, for just doing the set-aside work and for mowing out uh, certain areas. So from the cab, you'd have great visibility of the front mower. Something else as well which is fantastic is, like I said, is you can quickly disconnect and connect the front loader using the latch system on the side here. So you literally, you drop the front loader down, put the stands out, undo the latch, reverse, and then the loader just simply comes off. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching the first video here at Agritechnica. If you've just checked out the 6120M and the 6155R, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Which do you prefer, the 6120M with the front loader or the 6155R Ultimate Edition with the Command Pro and 663R loader? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys on the next Agritechnica video, which will be on the new Concept Electric Tractor. Thank you.